Okay, guys and gals, this is going to be, might be a little bit confusing, okay? You're putting these points on a graph, okay? Um, before I get into harder stuff, I just need you to teach you how to put a point on a graph, okay? That's what the, all, all we're doing today. Now, you got two lines. This line going this way is known as your X line. Put X right there, okay? And you have zero in the middle, and then the positive numbers this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this way is your negative numbers, negative one, two, all the way to negative nine. Now there's also a line that's going up and down. That's called your y-axis, okay? It's called the x-axis, a-x-i-x-i-s, x-axis, and then y-axis, okay? And then the y's go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then downward is the negative. Zero's in the middle. Okay. Now, here's how you plot a coordinate. 3, 5. Okay. You put an x there and a y there. So those are both positive numbers. So to go to 3, okay, this is your x. It always goes that way. It's x, y. So you go to 3 on x positive 3, so positive 3 is right here, okay? Then don't make a point there. Do not make a point there because now you have to go to 5 on the y-axis, okay? So watch what I do I'm, before I make the point. I go to 3 on the x and then 5 on the y, and that's where you make your point, okay? So I want you to label that 3, comma 5. Okay, next point, 2, negative 4. So I go to 2 on the x-axis. <clears throat> Don't make a point, though, because you have to go to negative 4 on the y-axis. Now, negatives are down on the y-axis. So right there. Okay, so 2, negative 4. Okay, negative 6, negative 4. Okay. So you go to negative 6 on the x-axis, okay? So negative 6. And then you go 4 on the y. 4 is positive, so it would be right there, okay? So here's negative 6 on x. Here's 4 on y. So negative 6, 4. <coughs> now, now put what that is. Negative 6, comma, 4. Okay, negative 6, negative 5. So where's negative 6 on x? Point to it. Where's negative 5 on y? Right there. Okay, so I go negative 6, negative 5. Just put the point right there. Okay, now the last one's confusing. x0. So x of 0 is right in the middle, okay, on the x, and then 5 on y is up here, okay? Remember, this is the y, so 0, 5 is right up there. And just put 0, comma, 5, okay? Don't connect the points, leave them, okay? I have 5 on each one to do. Okay, remember, before you graph, you label that your x-axis, and then you go up here, that's your y-axis. The more you do it, the more it will come automatic. So negative 6, negative 2, this is the x, this is the y. So I have to go to negative 6 on x, okay? So negative 6 on x is there, it's backwards, okay? And then negative 2 on y is right there, it's down. So negative 6, negative 2. Put it right on the grid. And then you just label it. You just copy that now. Okay, 7, 3, both positive. So x is 7. So x being 7 is this way. Y3 is up here. So forward 7, up to 3. Okay. So that is 7, comma 3. <coughs> Negative 5, 7. So when x is negative, it's backwards. Backwards knit to negative 5. Then y being 7 is up to 7. Okay? Go back. 
I didn't put that right, my bad. Backwards 5, up 7. Should have been there. So negative 5, comma 7. Okay. 8, negative 4. So 8 on x is forward, so forward to 8 right there, but don't make a point because now you have to go down to negative 4 on your y, okay? So negative 4 is right there. So that's 8, negative 4. Okay, negative 7, 0. So I go backwards 7 on the x, okay? And then y... I just stay right there. Having a y of 0 means you just go backwards 7 and then you don't go up or down. You make the point right there, okay? Because you don't, having a 0 means there's nowhere to go, okay? Okay, there you go. Okay, next one. This is the x axis. And right here is the y-axis. So 3, 5. So we go forward to 3, then upward to 5. Okay? 3, comma, 5. Okay? Negative 4, negative 6. So we go backwards to negative 4, and then downwards to 6. So negative 4 right there, and then downwards to negative 6. It should be right on the cross, okay? So negative 4 comma negative 6. It's got to be dead on the line. Okay, 4, negative 3. So on the x, you're at 4, so it would be forward to 4. Forward is to the right, and then down to 3. So 4, comma, negative 3. Negative 7, 5. So backwards to negative 7, and then upwards to 5. Right there, okay. Negative 7, comma, 5. That's how that is graphed. Backwards 7, up 5. 0, I don't label 0. Okay, I have to, so that's x, that's y. So x of 0 means I stay in the middle, okay? Don't go this way or that way. You stay in the middle, and you just go downward to negative 3. So I don't even put an arrow there when it's 0. Okay. Then 0, 0. Guys, 0, 0 is just right in the middle. Okay, you shouldn't, that means you just don't go anywhere. That's your middle. Okay, last problem. Negative 7, negative 1. So this is the x-axis. And right here, that is the y-axis. Okay. So negative 7, negative 1, that's x, that's y. So I go backward, back to negative 7 and then down to negative 1. That's the direction you have to go to get to those numbers. So backwards to negative 7, down to negative 1. So negative 7 comma negative 1. Okay. 5, negative 3. So now 5 is positive, so I go to the right. I go forward to 5, and then downward 3. Okay. So forward to 5, downward to 3, okay? So 5, negative 3. <clears throat> negative 8, 5. So it's negative, so I'm going backward. And then 5 is positive, so that's upward. You can see all the positives are upward. <clears throat> negative 8. One, two, three, four, five. Six, three. Forward to six, upward to three. Okay? 
that's x, that's y. So forward to 6, upward to 3. 6, comma, 3. Then 4, 0. This is x, this is y. So I just go forward to 4. 0 means I don't do anything as far as up, down. You just go forward to 4 and make your point. Okay. So 4, comma, 0. Okay. Let me know if you're having problems.